good to see those boys do what they did. And, uh, you know, it, it ended not the way everybody wanted it to, but it was still good. And I mean, the community here supported every each and every one of them. So it was it was good, good to see happen here in Alberta for us to take a stand for Canada. Yeah. Adam Sos here for Rebel News, and we're in Coots, Alberta at the Coots Rodeo, checking out some of the action here today. Obviously, Coots was thrust onto the world map with the trucker blockade that took place here. Uh, but we're going to talk to some of the folks here, learn a little bit more about the town and about the rodeo lifestyle down here, as well as get some people's perspective on, indeed, the historical events that transpired down at the border. So the thing about small town rodeos is one, uh, it's a very engaging atmosphere. It's very community based. You're right up there, uh, pretty close to the action. And the other thing is, this is the road to the stampede. So, you know, the guys that and gals that ride at the stampede, they started here, they started in the circuit. And this is what they'll do all year to qualify for the big rodeos. So stampede's an invitational and the big CFR and, and all the finals and so on. So yeah, you betcha, it starts right here. What's it like coming out to these rodeos, these small town rodeos? What are the people like? What's the vibe like out here? Everyone's super friendly. Um, I'm ridiculous for getting as nervous as I do because everybody is super friendly and super welcoming and um, like people cheer and they're happy for you even when they don't know you which nobody knows me yet so yeah it's a lot of fun. How much do you think sort of the toughness of cowboys, the western spirit, the independence, the resilience, so much of what's on display here at the rodeo factored into what went down at the border? Um, well what went on at the border um, it to me it needed to happen a little bit um, it, some of it did go probably a little too far but it uh, could play a big factor in the Cooch Rodeo. Love it you know you hear the Canadian anthem get sung out here and it actually makes you start crying because you know what everybody's gone through down here all over Canada um, it's beautiful rather be here supporting these guys than out at the Stampede. Yeah. yeah. Well, eventually some of these guys might wind yes, up there, yeah. they're hoping, but you get up and close and get that personal experience. Now, we've talked to a few folks about like the sort of grit, perseverance, um, the bravery just to hop up on here. Yeah. How much do you think that factored into the facts that, that Coots became very much on the global stage because of the trucker rebellion and very much the Western attitude of grit and perseverance factored into that? I think it factored in quite a lot. I mean, you especially like just now, just finished crying, watching the girls out there doing their barrel racing, they just go out there and give it their all. These people don't want to put up with any sh they're living their lives just leave us alone <laughs> it's great to be back here i rode in the freedom riders uh protest that happened just up at milk river here uh geez a couple months ago and then the next day hopped in my truck and went to ottawa it is good to be back here it's good to be back under happier circumstances in a way more open alberta um is it perfect not yet but again that's the whole point point is this is a community that fights this is a community that stands up for what it believes in um and it's a community with a very very strong moral code and a value set truckers weren't um, really they weren't any problem at all like it, it was a little bit of a pain for the local people because of the getting in and out of town you know because of the put the with the RCMP and stuff but uh, that's about it the truckers weren't a problem so no lack of surprises down here in Coots um, if you could just introduce yourself and tell us why people might know uh, your daughter at the very least uh, we're Stan and Bonnie McBurney and Tamara Leach is our daughter we were on the convoy with her, took her to Ottawa. That's that's absolutely incredible. Um, so what's it like, obviously, uh, was she was she like this growing up? Is this just very out of character? Is this just out of a necessity based on what happened globally? Tell us about, from your perspective, what happened with Tamara Leach. Well, she's be, been very uh, interested in everything that's going on and what isn't fair, and she's not one to sit back and just let things happen. So, yeah, we're proud of what she stood up for. That's good. She's yeah. certainly one of those sort of historical figures that Canada's <laughs> going to look back on while this is going on. How proud are you yes, of what she did? Definitely very proud. Yeah, that yeah, both of us are. Yeah. And from your perspective, uh, any thoughts? Um, we're asking folks down here at the rodeo, that sort of southern Alberta spirit of grit and perseverance and all that good stuff. How much do you think that factored into the fact that Tamara was willing to take that stand? Well, I, I'm not sure whether it's Alberta. It's just Tamara's personality. And you have to remember that she is one quarter Cree, and she just does what she's going to do because that's what she does. And... I'm so proud of her. My, well, I can't even button my shirt up. Well, I think that, that, that says a lot about our Alberta, period. Alberta cowboys, Alberta farmers. I mean, 
at some point you have enough. And the toughness that these guys grew up on, I mean, most of the farms around here, you, you know, you saw the local competitors, they're, they're all part of rodeo, with, so they're rodeo tough too. It doesn't matter, cowboys, cowgirls, farmers, same thing. I mean, without them, we aren't putting food on our, our, our tables. We aren't growing animals to come to rodeo with, right? So, I mean, it all goes hand in hand. And yeah, Alberta tough, yep. That, I would say Alberta tough next to rodeo tough. And it was good to see those boys do what they did. And, uh, you know, it, it ended not the way everybody wanted it to, but it was still good. And I mean, the community here supported every each and every one of them. So it was it was good good to see happen here in Alberta for us to take a stand for Canada. Yeah. Well, that is a wrap from Coots, Alberta. The rodeo has just finished up here. An incredible experience to be here talking to some of the folks about small town rodeo. I encourage you to check one out. It's an experience unlike anything else. You can get right up close to the action. We also talked to some people on their perspectives about the Coots blockade that unfolded not all that long ago. Incredible to garner their opinions. I'm a little bit sweatier and a little bit more covered in mud than when the day started, but after spending a day at the rodeo, I absolutely cannot complain. I want to thank you all so much for tuning in. For Rebel News, I'm Adam Sos. Coots, as you know, is very much thrust onto the world map as a result of the trucker blockade and a great deal of the negotiations and events surrounding that took place right here inside the Smuggler Saloon. If you want a personal and inside perspective on what really happened, not the version of the story that the mainstream media is sharing, make sure to check out Trucker Rebellion, the story of the Coots blockade at a theater near you. The place to find a showing is truckerdocumentary.com.